If you're watching this episode and you still haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now, it's free. Also, hit the like button and the notification bell. Share this episode with a friend. Don't forget to shop your real estate merch on our website, Real Estate and Chill, bringing you the hottest real estate interviews. Let's get it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the newest episode of Real Estate and Chill. I'm your host, James Chattery, branch manager of Cliffco Mortgage, here for all your residential financial needs, here with Kevin Iglesias, associate real estate broker. Man, I'm excited. We're back. Um, let's talk all things real estate. If you guys are looking for a referral partner, looking for an agent to help you in New York or Long Island, I'm your guy. Give me a call. You know, I'm here. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. Coast to coast, Kev. Yes, sir. I like it. So, Kevin, today, I feel like, you know, we don't... I we, You've been doing so much this year, and obviously, everyone wants to know what you've been up to. So we need to talk about all these different things that you've been doing. Yeah. And people have been asking you about all this stuff. They want to learn. So we need you to drop some gems for us today. Of course. All right. Perfect. So before we get into that, I just want to ask you, what is like the, what is like your biggest accomplishment professionally, like business wise this year? What would you say? Mm, for you can me, say more than one if you want. F- just this year? Just in 2023. I just had a team like well, I had a one on one with the, you know with, with people everybody on the team, and just hearing them how they've grown their business and how good they're doing and how they're successful and how much their mindset has changed, how much their business has changed, that makes me happy. Like that's the reason why you have a team. You know what I mean? And not every team is built the same. Not every team runs the same. Not every team leader leads the same. But I would say that would be my biggest accomplishment, you know, hearing them say, uh, you know, I'm doing a lot more business. Thank you for all your help. Um, as a team leader, you know, you're basically responsible for their success. Right. Even though I got to say, you said it too, it all still depends on you. I tell people this all the time. You can have the best coach, the best, the best mentor, be on the best team. But if you're not putting in the work, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. You know, you can't just magically join a team or a mentor and coach and just take off if you're not doing the work. You know, you got to put the actions in action in order to be successful. Can't be a dreamer. No. You got to be able to put everything in action. I'm with you 100%. And honestly, I've seen your team grow last year compared to this year. How many more people have you added onto the team this year? How much bigger is the team now than it was last year? Um, Last year. So last year... Andrew and Jennifer were all with me last year, I don't think. I don't think so. Andrew joined after the game at Nassau College to see him. I always, I always use, like, events as, like, timestamps. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was after. Because I remember when he was in the game, he wasn't on the team. Right. So, look, for me, um, and this is not, again, I like to do things differently. For me, it's not uh, quality. I mean, it, re- reverse, reverse that. that. <laughs> it's not quantity, it's quality. Of course. Right? There's no point for me to feel like I'm going to go recruit 30 people if those 30 people are not producing. Yeah. Then what's the point of having a big team? I'm right? not calling anybody out by no, any means, all. but um, some people have hit me up like, hey, I'm thinking about joining Kevin's team. And I was like, I sent him over to you. And you're like... Nah, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, whatever, bro. Like, I, I, I tried, but I know that because you always say that. You're like, it's always quality over quantity. Like, you want to be surrounded by some assassins. You're like, you want the ace of spades, the ace of heart. You want the the top tier of the top tier surrounding you and yeah, your team. And again, for me, again, I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for other people. For me, doing the team is I had to align myself with like-minded individuals, whether they're at that level that I'm at or not. I know that they have that drive, that why, that motivation that's going to help them get there. Right. So if I see potential in you and I'm giving you my time and effort, then I'm going to work with you. You know what yeah. I mean? That's why with certain, you send me certain people. I'm like, no, nah, there's no way. Absolutely oh, listen, no I way. try, guys. I try. You know, for me, <laughs> again, time is money. Time, time you, you can't get back time. Right. Yeah. You can buy back time. You can put certain things in uh, in action, certain automation, certain systems, um, but you can't buy back time. Of course. So for me, if I'm going to spend my time and my energy with somebody, it's because I truly believe in them and yeah. I want to be and I want to see them become even more successful. Time is money. One hundred percent. Yeah, like, it, it's true. And honestly, like I've been seeing all the things you've been doing. And one thing I think everybody would agree on 
is the fact that after people join your team, their business explodes. Like I think it's 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 not even a question. Look at like the team L I N Y like page, right? Like you see like Jennifer, Andrew, Chris, everyone's just like killing it. And you've recently added and Sarah too. I, I'll, I'll never forget about Sarah. Um, and you've recently had some new people join the team as well, right? Yeah. So I added on a, a Melzi, um, and I've known her. You know the previous brokerages that I was at, and. It just it's funny how life works you know god always say it works in mysterious ways she tried to recruit me on a team about six seven years ago when i was newer in the field and i told her no i'm good like i'm doing my own thing so the fact that we're now working together yeah um it just shows you that you know life comes at full circle sometimes that's all that's exactly what i was thinking and she's a shark you know she's a shark close to 100 houses sold on her wow You're like yeah she she's uh she's a machine so Again, anybody that I align myself with, they have to have that passion. You know what I mean? Like, I have to see it in them. And if I don't see it in them, but then again, you know, not for nothing. There's people who have joined that um, that just weren't the right fit. Right. But it's a learning process. You know what I mean? It, you come as you go. You learn from your mistakes and you know, all right, uh, and now I know what to do and what not to do. And that comes with anything. Right. You know, when you're building a team, I mean, I was, what, a solo agent up until 2020, 2021, I think I built my team. So I was solo for a long time before I put yeah. something together because I was just, uh, I'm heavy on control. Like I, you know what I mean? Like you order, you got to delegate in order to elevate, but when you're a control freak and you know, like how you want things done, yeah. it's hard to give control to other people. But again, that's when you train them and everything else will run smoothly. So how is like, how is having a team like changing your dynamic of work, right? Because obviously before you had a team, you were an individual agent, you were killing it by yourself. Yeah. Now you have, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm sure you have more personal business now too, on top of having a team. So like, how do you how do you navigate through that? It's a lot, you know. Um, you got to always be available, accessible, right? Because you're always going to get calls, right? You have a team too now. You're always going to get calls, yo, I don't know what to do for this or what do you think I should be doing for this? And you you have to basically like coach them and, and, and guide them through the process. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is what I would do. And l think outside the box so they could see like, yo, I didn't even think of that. You know, that's smart. You know what I mean? So it's helped the business grow a lot more now. And it's, again, as you said, it's helped their business grow a lot more now. And it's, for the reason for that is, look, I always tell people this is that, if you're a new agent, I could give you 20 leads, right? But if you don't know how to convert those 20 leads, if you know how to convert only one person out of 20, your conversion rate sucks, yeah. right? You don't need leads. What you need is guidance. You need coaching. You need um, education. You need somebody to basically tell you what to do because you're not doing it right, right? And um, in real estate, this is all performance-based, right? The more people that you know, uh, the more success you'll have. The more networking that you do, the more connections you'll have, which connections need to equal into contracts. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, just aligning yourself with the right people is always going to help you grow. And everybody's killing it, you know, and I'm proud of them. For, Thankfully, uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they're doing amazing. But again, one thing about me is I, I'll never tell them to do something if I haven't done it already myself. If I know that it's not going to work, I'm not going to tell them to go do something. Yeah, you're not so, going to, like, test with them. No, not yeah. at all. Because I'm doing it. I've been, I've done the cold calling. I've done the door knocking. I've, I've you know, I pretty much I've done it all. You know what I mean? So I know what works and I know what doesn't. And that's why... You know, they're successful because they get it. And they're coachable. You have to be coachable. Right. You can't have an agent on your team who just doesn't listen because you could just be giving them free game after free game. Like, yo, this is what's going to take your business to the next level. But if they're not listening, then it's not going to work for them. I think that's a very big thing. Like, honestly, I, I heard this saying once. It was like, if you're going to cut a tree, you got to spend the first two hours sharpening the axe. Yeah. And that's true because before you're able to, like, do all this stuff by yourself, you really got to learn the skills that you need to have in order to maximize your business. And I feel like with having the team, it's really like having somebody show you the path. Like you've went through all this stuff yourself because before you were, correct me if I'm wrong, but you weren't even on a team. You were an no. individual agent no, straight no. off the gate. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was an individual agent. And again, people always ask me, I was like, well, what made you go solo? I had something to prove to myself. Like I had to... 
maybe it was an ego. Maybe I was just hard headed and stubborn. But I knew. But I had to prove something to myself that I could survive this, and I and and I could take credit for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I. And don't get me wrong. Not that it's saying that I didn't try to work with people. I did. But when you get taken advantage of or, you know, you get money taken out of your pocket yeah. or things happen financially and it's like, yo, like, uh, this is not what I signed up for. Right. Then it just puts you in a different mindset. You're like, you know what? I'm going to make this happen on my own. And thankfully, thank God I did. Yeah. But join a team. I mean, join the right team. It's going to help cut Keyword. the learning curve. Uh, in half, you're going to be able to reach your potential and maximum potential uh, even quicker. You know what I mean? It's the same thing as like, you know, like bringing the horse to the water. Like having a mentor is literally, they're going to show you how to get there. Yep. All you got to do is you got to drink the water. You got to put in the work and they will show you the weight because the thing is you always want to be so efficient to the point where like, you're not just wasting time doing random things, being on a team, like being on your team, you know how to direct people to put their motivation and their like hustle towards the right things because that's how they're going to maximize what they want to do. That in itself will inevitably like ma have them produce more business and make more money. You know what I mean? So it's a no brainer. So like that's, that's honestly, that's honestly great. And I've been seeing everyone on your team, like absolutely killing it. I have the, like the pleasure of working with, you know, some of the people on your team. Um, and honestly, like it's awesome. Um, what have you been doing like with your team in terms of like, like business growth for 2024? Have you been like coming up with any like marketing plays, like any strategies on like, do you spend time like taking some time out and like sitting with them, talking to them about what they can do for the next year? Like oh, how important is planning like for your team? A hundred percent. I mean, I just, like I said, I just sat with them and I told them what they should be doing more of and what they, one thing I sit when I sit down with people, I always ask them, what are your strengths? What do you think your strengths are? Give me a list of your strengths. Now give me a list of your weaknesses because I need to know what I can help you in and what you're lacking in. I can strengthen and help you strengthen so you know how to be one complete package. You right. know what I mean? And again, when you have it in a team, it's so you could be in multiple places at once. Like thankfully, they've been trained and gotten the guidance that I don't have to be there in order for them to lock the listing. I've given them the tools. I've given them the confidence, the mindset that, yo, I'm going to get this listing with whether Kev's with me or not. And one thing I always do is I train them to a, a level and then I let them go out on their own. So I'll go with you to your first few appointments and it's like, yo, now sink or swim. I want to see if you can do it on your own. And if you can, be super proud of yourself because before you didn't feel like you could. Right. Now that I'm not in the picture, you know I'm going to lock it in. If I'm with you, I'm locking it in. I'm leaving with signatures. I'm securing yeah. the bag. Of course, everyone we knows getting paid. Everyone knows that about you. <laughs> we getting paid without a doubt. There's no question. But I want to see that in you. And I want to see that in you because you're going to feel good about yourself, right? right? You're going to be like, damn, like I made that happen. You know, again, I sat with them and they're like, yo, before you, I didn't have the confidence that I could walk into any room or meet with any home homeowner and pitch them myself, sell myself and be paid a premium, right? Honestly, I'm, I'm not trying to, because you're dropping gems right now. But I, like the only reason why I was laughing is because the amount of times that people have called me, because everyone knows we're boys, like, the amount of people I've seen people and they're like, I saw I was at a listing appointment. I saw Kevin's card. I left. <laughs> like, yeah. I heard this so many times. And I'm just like, it's so funny because like because I know what you're able to do, obviously, all the time and what you do. But like hearing other people say that about you is just so funny. <laughs> and they laugh too. They're like, Oh, I saw Kevin's card on it. And it was just like I knew. And they're like, the next day it was listed with Kevin. It wasn't with me. And I'm just like, Yo, that's funny that you say that because I get DMs like that as well. Like, damn, you beat me to it. I know you were gonna get it. You know, like I just had a feeling. And people have come up to me and said that as well. And uh, like Again, and I want to say this out loud, like now that we're on the podcast and we're speaking out it publicly, yo, I don't short myself. I don't sell myself short. You know, I don't, I'm not that discount agent, right? Because my services cost a premium. That's what anything, right? Look at Louis Vuitton, right? You shop for Louis Vuitton, why? The brand. The brand, right? It's a statement, right? People who wear Louis Vuitton, that's authentic, you know that they're successful. Why? Right. Because it costs a premium. Right. You can't be broke and wearing Louis Vuitton. I mean, you can, but it's a premium product. Right. Now, you can go to Canal Street and buy Louis Vuitton as well. Yeah. That's going to be like two hundred dollars. <laughs> but once you compare both of the bags, obviously one is authentic and one is not. 
Yeah. So you're and paying. they don't both get the job done. No. People will know. No. People will know. Without a doubt. Yeah. You know what I mean? So again, I don't ever discount myself because I know my worth. I know my value. I know what I bring to the table. Right. And I'm not gonna go, you know, I can't get a steak or filet mignon at McDonald's. Yeah. But I can at Xenia, Blackstone, I can at uh Chris Roots, you know what I mean? I can at those places because I know it's quality. And there's I a know it's why premium, you're there. 100%. hundred percent. Yeah. So if you're watching this episode and you still haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. It's free. Also hit the like button and the notification bell. Share this episode with a friend. Don't forget to shop your real estate merch on our website, real estate and chill, bringing you the hottest real estate interviews. Let's get it. It's funny you say that. Cause I hear that all the time. The biggest compliment that I've heard from you recently is somebody told me that we were, you know, you know how I am. Like I, I speak to real estate agents, help them with their game plan. And uh, especially around this time of the year. And um, they were talking about expired listings and stuff. And they were just basically saying how so many people call them like, cause I don't, I'm not a part of that side of it. I don't yeah. really know. Yeah. They're saying how so many people call them every day and you came up in conversation and I was like, so how's my boy Kev? Like, how does he lock up so many expired listings? He's like, because Kevin is relentless. And, like, Kevin does what he needs to do, and he does not take, like, he doesn't stop. Like, and he was like, that's how everyone needs to be. And I was like, you said it, not me. This is somebody that we know said yeah. that? Um, but, okay, so we, we, we had an event, right, with Tilray, and then I did, a, like, a cold calling, uh, um, like, a private mastermind, right? And everybody who was in that mastermind is people who we know successful in this business you know um they all say the same thing it's not it, i don't use a script right it's not what you say it's who you are again you're just relentless it's just your personality like right. it just comes off so naturally that it, you could say that anything to me and i'll be able to bounce back so quickly i could be able to rebuttal it so fast that you're just like damn this dude is super confident. You've seen me make cold calls at open houses yeah, before. Yeah, I remember that. And yeah. I lock it in. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's because I walk in, I, I speak to them confidently. But one thing I like about what you do, we've had conversations before. We've had phone call conversations about this. Like on weekday, weekends when you're like about to do something, you research, you prepare, you make sure you know everything before you go into any conversation. Like we've had clients before where we we were planning out for them together and you wanted to know everything about everything in order to inform them about the most, the best decision they can make. So they have all their options laid out in front of them. But I feel like I don't like, I don't always see that. Right. Like, I think that's so important, like researching, knowing everything that you need to know to answer any of the questions, having that knowledge first, like that goes hand in hand. Right. Cause you can have the brand, but if you don't have the knowledge, it's different, but you have both, like you have the knowledge and you have the brand, which com comes together, you know? Uh, and I'm glad you said that. That's a reason why my conversion rate is so high. I say out of 10 appointments I get, I get nine. You know what I mean? And the other person that I don't get is because they're crazy. You yeah. know, they're crazy not to work with me. <laughs> yeah. They're just either crazy or just like, you know, I, I don't, you get to a certain level where you don't have to work with everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why you have a team. I could delegate this. I could say, yo, this is the perfect person that you could work with. Just be aware that this person is like this and this and that. If you could handle this, that's your listing. Right. You know what I mean? Like you work with them. But I always do my homework because imagine you're imagine you're an expired or for said by owner and I call you and my main focus is just to get the appointment and get in the door. But what value am I providing to you? Why am I going to let a complete stranger in my house if I don't know what I'm talking about? Right. You have to be knowledgeable and know of the product that you're selling. So if I'm calling you and I'm saying, hey, I know what your neighbors have sold for. I know what you're looking for but you're leaving money on the table. If you're under price, if you're under market value, then obviously a light bulb goes off, right? You know what because, happens? Go ahead. I have, last month, I just randomly called a for sale by owner because I, I just I just like to see what you guys do. And they were like, are you a realtor? I was like, no, but I'm, and then he hung up. And I was like, this is what you guys have to deal with all the time? How yeah. do you get around something like that? It's it's rebuttals. You got to have thick skin. You get, I get But even if out. they don't even let you like speak to you, what, what do you even do? You call them right back? I call them right back. Be like, hey, I think we got disconnected. <laughs> so funny <laughs> yeah and you figure out what they have and then but here's the thing though i said if they if that happens to me right when somebody hangs up i call them right back say hey i think we got disconnected and obviously they're upset because they're like no dude i hung up on you so my next line is before you hang up again because i'm letting them uh, let you know letting them aware like yo i know you hung up on me but before you hang up again give me two seconds and then i'll get into what i have to say 
right? Because that's going to set you apart from everybody else. Think about it. How many agents, they don't, they're not called back somebody yeah. that hung up on them. They're just like, oh, uh, all right, next. But yeah. now nah, I'm just like, again, I'm relentless. I want to know what, why are you selling? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to know more than to just the numbers, you know, that's just commission. Again, anybody could uh, get an appointment, but if you don't get the listing, then what's the point? You're wasting yeah. your time. Honestly, I feel like in that moment, I, I didn't, I didn't call that person back because they seemed so angry. And, you know, I'm not used to that because like, I don't really, everyone who speaks to me wants to speak to me. So it was just interesting seeing that side of it. And I just kind of want to get a feeling for like what, you always got to know what everyone's doing around you, right? Like you always want to feel what they're feeling. So you know what they're talking about. And like, I just did that. And then the next person I called, they were actually open to it. And I was like, I'm not a realtor though. But, and then I kind of just like, was just like, I'm a lender. So if you need anything, just let me know. But I was just kind of, I just kind of wanted to see what it was, but that's difficult. That is very difficult to do. That is no it, easy thing. Cold, cold calling is a numbers game, right? If you're calling a hundred people, you can't expect a hundred people to say yes. Yeah. Right. Maybe you'll get what a 20%. Okay. Which is what 20 people saying, all right, you know what I'll think about it. And you follow up with those 20 people. That's not bad. You know, out of a hundred. If you're new now, if you have a high conversion rate, you can convert half of those people into appointments. That's that's amazing. So, how do you set out time for this? Like, what is your what does your day look like? Um. All right. So, people always say like, how do you navigate everything that you're doing, right? With the podcast, with content, with the team. For me, I know I can make any call and be in any position. I can make a call right now and know that I can lock in an appointment just because I know that I'm knowledgeable. If if calling is what works for you. And you have to dive more into that, right? right? Obviously, you're going to get referral business, but this is what I say about referral business. It's great. Don't get me wrong. Everybody wants to be referral based, right? That's the dream. But if you don't know how many referrals you're going to get in that year, then you're just basically waiting for a referral to get to you, yeah. right? If you're hunting for business, you're going to be fed year around because you know how to hunt for the business. You know how to get the appointment. You know how to secure the bag. And you know that, yo, no matter what, if even if I don't get the amount of referrals I want to receive this year, I'm still banging out my calls and I'm still getting appointments and I'm still getting listings. So the money's going to come in regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? And certain people don't have those tools that they're only referral based or, you know, they only know how to do one thing that they don't know how to hunt for business. Right. And that's where you see so many agents leave the business because it's like, damn, this is way too hard. Yeah, I agree. So cold calling. Another thing that you do exceptionally is social media based. And obviously I want to touch base on that before we wrap up, but like social media stuff, you're on my newsfeed every two minutes. I open up Instagram. <laughs> it's just your big head in the way. And I'm just like, I'm just like watching it. And I'm like, Kevin always has stuff out there. So like, before we wrap up, I just want to say 2023, give me some, give me some statistics. What has social media done for your business? So, I just did a video on this too. Um, you have to think in, in the social media mindset, right? Uh, it's easy to become a consumer and consume what you're viewing. But it's also if you're a brand and if you're an entrepreneur, you want to put out that content that people consume, right? The number one thing right now is let's just say the big brands, why are they paying influencers with a million followers, a hundred thousand followers, because those influencers have attention, yeah. right? So if you want to scale your business, you have to realize that you need attention, right? Attention is you, currency. Attention is currency in the, in, in the day age that we yeah. live in. Right. So I knew that. And it's funny because you're the one who convinced me to get on social media. And now I'm just like all over the place. Yeah. But the reason why I'm laughing, I got a call from another agent was like, yo, I keep watching you on Instagram. He's like, I have a, a $1.2 million lead for you. Wow. Uh, yeah. And it's just from social media. It's like, bro, you know, I love what you're doing. I love the content. I see that you're out putting in work early in the morning. It's motivating me. It's inspiring me to 100%. get up early and put in work. Punching the punching bag every yeah. day. I see that. I'm like, damn, I got to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> but social media has helped me build my brand. And at the end of the day, you could be with any company, right? But at the end of the day, you want to have your own brand. Right. Are you... Uh, memorable, right? What does your brand say about you? How does your brand make people feel? Like Tom Ferry said, right? Nike doesn't sell shoes and sneakers and clothes. It sells ambition, right? It speaks to your your motivation. Do you want right. to run faster, right? Do you want to feel good? Do you want to look good? Do you want to reach those goals? Do you want to be a better athlete? Buy Nike. It's the best product. Like that's what Nike sells. It's ambition. It's feelings. 
Right. You know what I mean? And for me, I knew that I was different, right? I, I didn't look like everybody else. Uh, I'm big on telling my story. So it helps the brand grow even more because people like stories, bro. People like, again, you and I have grew up a little differently, but people like an underdog story, right? They like yeah. the Rocky Balboa story. No matter how many times you get hit, you get up and you keep fighting, right? That relentlessness, right? That people speak of me about, um, they, they love that. So the more that you're relatable with people online, the more your following is going to grow, the more attention you're going to receive because people are following and watching your content. People are learning about your content. I've gotten calls from people like, yo, I just watched a video and I have a question. You know what I mean? And if I wasn't on social media, those opportunities would have never been there. Right. And people who are not doing social media, not doing the content, they're missing out on a lot, a lot of money. You know, I got a call the other day. It was a $2 million lead in the story of Queens. Guy was like, yo, wow. you sell houses in the story of Queens, I got a two family. Of course I, said, I do. Of course I do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he's like, yo, you have a great online presence and uh, I'll be back. I'm going to uh, Dubai, but I'll be back and I want to meet with you. I said, okay, great. And that's the one thing about social media is that when you have people consuming your content and you're sharing your story, they feel like they know you already. You know right. what I mean? How many people have we met that we've never met before? It's like, yo, bro, I feel like I know you already. Yeah, like, is, it isn't weird. You know yeah. what I mean? And those people want to work with you because they like you. Uh, you have things in common. People want to work with people who they like and trust, right? And once you build that um, that trust with them, even though you don't know them, it's so much easier, right? You don't feel like you got to sell them on anything. Of course. I don't have to pitch you on anything. You already know what I'm about. You see my success. You see me putting up the numbers. Yeah. You see me putting out the content. The action speak for itself. Exactly. So, uh, you know, w words don't mean anything if you're not putting the action behind it. So, right. for me, social media has helped me uh, tremendously. Um I know how to set myself apart from other realtors, from uh, everybody else who's in my field. Bro, I'm having people reach out to me to speak in so many stages. I had somebody Yeah, speak. you've been to Triple Pay. You've been in like, you, you have like a new speaking event that you're announcing know. one after the next. After Triple Play, it's something else now. I know. And before Triple Play, it was something else. Like, every, you're always, you always have something. Yeah. Which is awesome. And you, and you love like, like relating to other people. So like that's 100%. something that I know you love and enjoy doing. And but, that's probably something that feels really good too. Like doing something you really enjoy doing. Yeah, without a doubt. When you're passionate about something, you live, really love doing something, it's not work. You know right. what I mean? You're comfortable. I'm comfortable sitting it's on fun. stage speaking to hundreds of people because I'm not being fake. I'm being authentically me. And I know that my message is going to convey what maybe not everybody, but certain people. And then those are your people. You know right. what I mean? Like I've spoke at events and I'm like, Look at my thing. I'm like, damn, 50, 60, 70 new followers. It's like, yeah. why? Because that's when you're of value, right? When people follow you, it's like, yo, this guy has something to say. He's doing all the right things, and I need to follow him to get that advice and get that knowledge, and I want to keep seeing what he's doing. So that's why I tell people, like, for me, social media is like my journal, bro. Yeah. I write long things, pa paragraphs. It's just me speaking to myself or motivating other people, inspiring other people, um, to do things again, I didn't have a team, a mentor or anybody in my corner saying, yo, you got to do this. You got to do that. You know what I mean? Like I was so self-driven that I knew that I was going to become successful. It was inevitable. It was just a matter of time. If I stay consistent and I kept putting in the work, it was just a matter of time that I get to the levels of where I know I could reach. And, uh, like I said, thank God I'm, I'm here now. And thank God you could be that person for other people now too. hundred percent. And one thing about me is like, I don't feel like I'm at my maximum potential. And people are always like, are you crazy? Like, you're doing so much. Like, I, I think there's so much more in store for me. And that's what drives me. You know, that's what drives me. It's like, yo, I know that I'm capable of so much more. I know what I'm capable of. And when people doubt me and don't think that I can make something happen, it just motivates me even more. You know what I mean? I don't know when this is going to air, if Barbara Corkin responds to me by then or not, but that's my mission. Like, I'm solely, I'm locked in, I'm focused. You've you know been posting I mean? this daily, <laughs> every single day, and I always, I always literally told you this, I don't even want to comment on that post because I keep getting notifications, Barbara Corkin, every single two minutes. Uh, I love it, though. But that's the power of social media. It is. Again, if I, think about if I never shared my story, right? Why would people support it? You know what I mean? If they see you putting in the work from the ground up, if they see you sharing your story, like, yo, I'm not an overnight success as much as you think I am. Like, this is blood, sweat, and tears. As much as you think I may look to make this look easy, it's because I've perfected it, right? I put in a lot of work into this. I know how it works. I know how to make it work. And I'm successful now because I stay consistent. You know what I mean? And I put in the work. I put in the hustle. 
and now I can put up a listing and sell it a house in like a week or two. You know what I mean? Before I couldn't because I didn't have the mindset. I didn't have the skills. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. You know, I was just taking a bet on myself and risking it all. And uh, social media is great, man. And now it's playing look, out. Look at, look at where it's taken us. We're building the platform. We changed the game. And I say this we're, we're, strongly, confidently. We're the number one platform on Long Island. You know, I don't, think, I don't think people would disagree, yeah. We're the number one platform. Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? Why? Because we're different. You know, we set ourselves apart. We look different. Right? And we never, even though in the beginning, you and I both know that a lot of people were like, you know, we, thankfully, we have support of like the people around us. And oh, we, yeah, 100%. We appreciate that so much. And like, they believed in us to like continue what we're doing. Right. And we're never going to let them down. No, 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 no. And we wouldn't be here without them, you know? Exactly. This is because they believed in us. We have that support and uh, they love what we're about. You yeah. know, and that feels good. You know what I mean? Right. When people believe in you, um, we're only here because because of them. You yeah, one hundred percent. God did, <laughs> but you know, social media opens doors that we don't even have to open ourselves. Literally, right or wrong, one hundred percent. We go to places like, yo, you're, yo, you're cat from the real estate, bro. I had a kid that I was negotiating. I'm not gonna call him kid because he's a grown man, but he's younger than me. And he's like, bro, I can't believe it's you. Yo, I watch this stuff all the time. You know, I watch the podcast. He's like, I can't believe I'm having a conversation with you. And I, me on the other line, I'm just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what I mean? Call, somebody please call him and see what he's like outside of the camera. It's so um, funny. Yeah, You're I'm so like quiet. strictly business that like. That's it. Like, that's all you That's all you are. After, so after. I was like, yo, bro, I appreciate that. You know, that means a lot to me. I, I appreciate your support. And I was like, look, I'm going to help you because he was buying the house for himself. And he just didn't have the guidance. He didn't know what to do as far as an agent buying a house for himself. So I said, look, if your brokerage okays it, use the commission and use that towards your closing costs or your down payment. Yeah. And I said, if I know the house needs work, but let's think outside the box. I know this is the number that the seller wants. He wanted me to disclose it. So it's okay. If you can put a concession on top of that and get the concession, now you're even you're winning even more because nobody in this market is getting a concession. Like the yeah. market's on fire, you know what I mean? So if I can help you think outside the box, why not? And I did. 100%. I structured the deal for him, got the offer accepted. He's like, bro, without your guidance, this deal would have never happened. Wait, this is your listing or no? My listing. Yeah, oh, I was okay, selling gotcha. my listing. Wow. And I so you're helping the buyer. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and I helped the agent, the buyer himself. Wow. So you have the, the buyer. Deal. Wow, that's awesome. But again, that's what I'm about. I'm all about helping somebody. Look, if I was when I bought my first house, nobody was helping me. I don't know what the heck I was doing. No, I was successful enough to know what I was doing, but I wish I would have had somebody there telling me what to do. You know. Yeah. But I'm, you know me. I'm all risk. I'm gonna yeah. do this regardless. I don't know what's gonna happen, but if I fail, and I you fail. don't gamble, which is funny. No, I don't. Which is weird, right? <laughs> it is funny. That's that's how you take it. Your life's a risk, so you don't even gamble, bro. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Yo, but I got. I felt like a celebrity. I was on the phone with my girlfriend, and somebody at Target came up to me, and they were like, "You're James." I was like, "James?" I was like, "Wait, who are you?" <laughs> and they were like, "I know you. I watch your content." I was like, "No shot. It's happening." That was the first time I got recognized like outside of an event, and I was like, "That's so fire, bro!" I went to the supermarket. Yo, but I wanted to talk to him, but he's left, and I was like. Damn, Same thing happened to, say, to me. I went to the supermarket to and I was just minding my business, rolling the cart, throwing things in the cart. Yo, there was this grown ass man who was like brawling, like the rock, bro. Like he me? walked No, nah, not like you. Oh, okay. But he walked he walked right past me. He's like, bro, I love your content. And just walked right past me. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I was like, yo. And I, I like I stopped and I was just like, yo, did he just say that? And he did. And like when I look back, he was just like and I was like, that's crazy. You, you know, know him? No, I have no idea who he you was. You didn't find out who he was? Nah, because I was I was like, damn, should I go back? Should I not go back? But nah, then I put on my story. I was like, yo, if you follow me, <laughs> DM me. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when you, somebody walks away from an explosion looking all cool. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yo, yeah. I just let it happen naturally. But it was so random. I was just like, I text my wife. I'm like, yeah, I'm popping. Yo, I'm I was popping. on the phone with my girlfriend when that happened too. I was like, yeah, I'll call you right back. Hold on, give me one second. <laughs> but no, nah, honestly, like. It's definitely, and we're obviously nowhere near where we want to be yet. Nah, not but at all. But like, it it feels nice having like people like support you along the way and like show always showing love and like it just means a lot, you know. From without a doubt, we so we appreciate your support. We're, we're thankful we wouldn't be here without you guys. But if you and your support, if you're not subscribed, we hate you. Subscribe. No, we don't hate you. But 
if you don't subscribe now, then we'll hate you. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been warned. Yeah, you've been warned. But Kevin, what's your last thing I'll ask you about? Give me your three main goals for this for 2024. Three main goals on the spot. Um, I want to help the team grow even more, align myself with even more like-minded individuals. Because again, like you said, everybody who's joined me, their business has grown, their mindset has changed, their uh, their life has changed, and I can say that confidently, and it makes me happy because um, who would have thought, right? Who would have thought that I'd yeah. be able to accomplish all of this and be helping others? You know what I mean? So just aligning myself with more uh, successful, more hungry entrepreneurs. If you have that burning desire, that why, that's going to motivate you out of bed every single day, then I'm willing to work with you. I don't work with everybody. Time is money. Um the second goal would be just to continue to do more business. You know what I mean? I, I, uh, it's important for me, right? When I got in this business that nobody really looked like me with the tattoos, Hispanic and you know, my background that is doing what I'm doing now. Yeah. Right. And we saw an window opportunity with this platform that nobody is doing what we're doing, right? The way right. we're doing it, make it entertaining, popping the confetti, the money guns, the champagne, everything that we're doing, the energy, um, that we took advantage of the opportunity. And I thought to myself, look, who can I look up to that looks like me? I didn't, I didn't see anybody. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let me lead the way. Um, and I get so many DMs, bro. So many DMs, bro. So many messages like, yo, you motivate me. Like you inspire me. Like, you know, I love everything you're doing. I support everything you're doing. So just do a lot more business. You know what I mean? And, 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 it's crazy because now you're in the limelight, right? Right. We're now we're in front of the cameras. Now we're putting the content out there. Now you got to hold yourself accountable on a much higher scale, right? Because now that we're, we're, we're everywhere. We're with Tom Ferry. We're, we're like all these big names. People want you to fail. Oh, hundred percent. People want you to fail. They want to see you go down because uh, they just don't understand how you keep making it happen. So for me, it's like, yo, now that I'm on uh, a much, uh, bigger platform now eyes are on me and i know that they want to see me fail that motivates me to keep going you know yeah. what i mean so do a lot more business help the team grow and thirdly i would say is um you know the most important goal is just to help my family you know even yeah. more how old is mikey now mikey's three, uh, he'll be almost. three yeah my son um just help the family grow. You know, that's the main reason why I got into this business is, and I yeah. put a video out about that. I didn't get into this business like, yo, I, I want to start a podcast. I want to be a podcaster. I want to be a content creator. I want to speak on stages. I want to win these awards. No, I was dead broke. You know what I mean? I, I need, I dropped out of college. I uh, barely and made it still through. still had the glasses. Yeah, I barely made it through high school, but not because I was dumb. I just was aligned with the wrong people. And um, this changed my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like 100%. that was my goal. Like I need to change my life, my yeah. family's life, my kids' life. And, uh, thankfully thank God I've been able to do that. So God is good, man. I'm blessed. Um, we're going to continue to crush it, continue to do business, continue to do big events, big seminars and, yeah. uh, just lead the way. Next one coming soon. We're going to yes. be announcing something in the near future. It's always special. Yeah. It's always special. We have something that works right now. So we'll be announcing something in the future. A lot of people hitting us up about our next seminar, but, it will be here. Don't worry. It's just holiday time, but after we'll be, we'll be making some announcements. Let's go. We will see you next time. If you're watching this episode and you still haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. It's free. Also, hit the like button and the notification bell. Share this episode with a friend. Don't forget to shop your real estate merch on our website. Real Estate and Chill bringing you the hottest real estate interviews. Let's get it.